Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another tutorial video. Okay, this time I'll be showing you how to install Android 7.1.2 Nugget onto the Samsung Galaxy Tab E 9.6. So this is my Tab E 9.6. And I'm currently running Android 4.4.4. Let me just focus in. Android version 4.4.4. This is the T560 model. This will also work with the T561 model too. So yeah, before you do this, make sure you back up all important files because doing this is totally going to wipe the tablet clean. So just make sure you back up anything that you find important to you, um, like pictures or videos. Just make sure you have it all backed up to a thumb drive or a PC because once again, this is going to wipe the device clean. Okay, so first of all, you'll need to download these eight files. So... Odin v311.1 TWRP 3.0.2.1 Make sure it's a tar file The boot image The soft keys fix This is called keys but it's going to fix the soft keys Lineage 14 This is the Android 7.1.2 ROM The Magisk Manager v43.3.3 apk magisk v11.6 this is what we're going to use to root android 7.1.2 and also the open g apps 7.1 pico i'll leave a link to all these eight files in the description down below so once you've downloaded them save them to your desktop okay next just right click on the odin file and select extract all you will need an extracting program to extract it, like 7-Zip or WinRAR. So you can just, if you don't have an extracting program, just type in 7-Zip into Google, download it for your operating system, Windows or Mac or whatever it is you're using, and then um, you'll be able to extract the Odin file. Okay, so just extract it, and it will create a folder called Odin v3 11.1 and it will be on your desktop there so just open it up and then you'll see the Odin file, right click on it and select run as administrator hit yes and then Odin will launch Okay, next, just connect your tablet to the USB cable. And then, gain access to your internal storage and then drag the boot image onto your internal storage also drag the lineage 14 zip file onto there Okay, so both files are on there, the boot image lineage 14.1. Also drag and drop the keys, the soft keys fix onto there. So there it is. Drag and drop the Magisk's manager APK file onto there. There it is. Also drag and drop the Magisk's 11.6 zip file onto there. And drag the open G app 7.1 Pico zip file onto there. Okay, so you can go ahead and close that down now. Okay, so now we're going to flash TWRP recovery. So it should be here on your desktop. 
that's where you saved it to after you downloaded it remember okay now just power off the tablet sorry about the fingerprints and smudges guys okay so once it's off you're going to press the volume down button this button also the home button and the power button you're going to press all three at the same time so volume down home and power until you see this screen here saying warning then press the volume up button to continue Okay, now just connect your tablet to the USB cable. And on Odin, it should, where it says ID come here, it should be blue. If yours is still grey, that means you've not installed the Samsung drivers. So um, the best way to get the Samsung drivers, you can either do a Google search for them, or you can download Samsung Keys, connect your tablet to Samsung Keys, then it will install the drivers. Once it's finished installing the drivers, then you can come back to Odin, reconnect, and it should then turn blue. So, it should say added. Okay, so just select options here. And uncheck auto reboot. Then select log. Select AP select desktop because that's where the twrp file is and now we're just going to locate the twrp file so let's scroll down till we find it okay so here it is twrp 3.0.2.1 p560 so just select it and make sure that little box there is ticked then select start and it should then start to flash the recovery and then it should say pass okay on the tablet now you're just going to unplug it And then you're going to hold down all the physical buttons. You're going to hold down the home button, the volume up and down button, and the power button until it switches off. And then you've got to be really fast, guys. Once it switches off, quickly press the home button, volume up and power. So quickly press volume up, home and power. And then it should go into TWRP recovery mode. If it doesn't, just... Let the tablet boot up, then power it back off again. Once it's powered off, press volume up, home and power, and it should, should take you into team win recovery. So swipe across to allow modifications. Okay, so once you swipe across to allow modifications, then you're gonna select wipe. In fact, before you select wipe, just go to install and just check that all the files are on there, so they're all here, all the zip files that we need. So we can go ahead and select wipe, select advanced wipe, because we want to do a proper clean install, so select Dalvik Art and Cache, System, Data and Cache, and then swipe to wipe. And then just wait for it to say done then select back and then back again and then just do a swipe to factory reset then select back back then go to install and look for the lineage 14.1 
and then swipe to confirm flash. Okay, you'll see this unknown command in red. Don't worry about that, it's pretty much normal. Then it should say done there. So once it says done, just select back and then select the OpenG Apps ARM 7.1 zip. Swipe to confirm flash. Okay, if the screen goes off, just press the power button on the side and then swipe to unlock just to wake it back up. Okay, so just wait for it to say done, then go back. Okay, so um, before I install the keys zip, the soft keys zip file, but which is going to fix the soft keys, I'm just going to mention that if your device doesn't boot up, you'll need to flash the boot image. So just select install image and then look for the boot image and flash it. But um, I don't need to install it. Maybe you don't need to install it, but just in case the device doesn't boot, just boot back into TWRP recovery, select install image and look for the boot image and install it and then hit reboot. So now I'm just going to flash the soft keys fix. So I swipe to confirm flash. Okay, so the first boot does take a while, so you just got to be patient.
I know I could edit the video and skip all this, but I'm just going to show it just to show you guys that this does work 100%. So whatever mistakes I make in this video, if I do make any, I'm sharing it with you guys. We keep it real around here. Okay, so it's finished booting up, so it did take a while. Okay, so we're in lineage. So let's just go through this setup process. United Kingdom. So you'll notice it will if you have the T560 model it will now say welcome to your T561 that's because this ROM was developed for the T561 but it also works with the T560 so you'll notice this little message message there so let me just connect to my Wi-Fi real quick
Okay, let's just skip through this. All set. Let's start. Okay, so this is Android 7.1.2 running on the Samsung Galaxy Tab E 9.6. About tablet, Android 7.1.2. Android N, the Nugget. And we have our apps here. Okay, so now I'm just gonna log into the Play Store real quick. So let me just put in my details. Okay, so we are in the Play Store. Just come out of there. Okay, so now we're going to root Android 7.1.2. So to root it, we need to power off. So press the power button, power off. And then we're going to press the volume up, home button, and the power button to go back into TWRP recovery. And once in there, just swipe to allow modifications, select install. Scroll down and look for the Magisk 11.6 zip file and then just swipe to confirm flash. And once it's done, just select reboot system. Okay, now just go into your app drawer and 
select files select tm t561 and look for the magisks manager so here it is it's the apk file select settings and where it says unknown sources just turn that on hit ok then go back and select the magisk manager apk file once again and then hit install select accept And it should then say app installed. So now we can just close that down. In fact, just select done. And just go back. Okay, so go to the Play Store and type in root checker. and install it this is the app this is how it looks so make sure you download in the correct one it's by joey Krim. so just download root checker Open it up. Hit agree. And then select verify root. Oops. Swipe across. Okay, now select verify root. Verifying root access and installation on this device. Select grant super user request, yep. And it should then say, congratulations, root access is properly installed on this device. SMT561, Android version 7.1.2. So you should now have your Samsung Galaxy Tab E 9.6 running Android 7.1.2, fully rooted. And like I said, this, this ROM is very stable. There's no bugs. I've not had any issues with it whatsoever. Everything seems to be working perfectly fine. So yeah, guys, um, if this tutorial helped you out, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Leave any comments in the comment section down below if you get stuck with anything. It's your boy, the Android Doctor. See you in the next video. I'm out. Deuces.